Hello language teachers. I want to tell you about my campaign. It's called OI and OI stands for Organise Interaction. When we're thinking about teaching we're constantly thinking about what we are going to teach the children. Uh, I'm suggesting that in fact the most important thing we should think about is how we organise the children to speak to each other because children learn so much quicker if they're speaking and if they're speaking to other children rather than to adults. So I've written Racing to English which has over 350 language teaching activities on it all of which focus on getting children to interact with each other and talk to each other and I want to show you one of them now which will not only illustrate uh, the sort of work I do it will also illustrate the key principles of all language teaching I hope. The game is called the Shape Monsters game and you can see my baseboard here with the shapes on it. Two teams, uh, one or two people in each team. First team picks up a card and there's their Shape Monster and it's got a hexagonal body and a rectangular head so it can go on a hexagon or a rectangle. Okay, M you must say the sentence. My Shape Monster has got a hexagonal body and then it's Green's turn uh, my shape monster has got a semicircular head. Oh, wrong way. And so on. You take it in turns until one of you gets a line of four horizontally, diagonally, or vertically. Sometimes the whole board gets full, but nobody's got four in a line. So that's no problem. Count up how many three in a line you've got. Or well, green's got one here, two here. Uh, pink has got one, two, three. So pink is the winner. Well, of course, I wrote that activity. So I think it's just wonderful. But um, assuming you think it's at least reasonable, what's good about it? That's the question I'd like you to consider. What was good about that activity? Well, I wonder what ideas you had saying why that was a good activity. And the first one, of course, is interaction. Uh, learners have to interact with each other uh, in order to play the game, which is brilliant. And the other thing, the most wonderful thing for language learning, is a huge amount of repetition. I remember when I was learning to be a language teacher, my lecturer said, learners have got to hear something seven times before they remember it. Yes, right. Mm, I'd been teaching four years by then. Some of my children, seven times? No, no. They needed 77 times and um, one or two of them 777 times. So I think you need a huge amount of repetition. So we got that and of course it wasn't boring because it was game-like. In fact it was fun and that's my third point. Learning a language can be not only difficult but quite upsetting at times and if you make it fun then people are joining in and feel very confident and enjoy themselves. So fun is important. Those little pictures that we were using on the game are also great because they give visual support. Understanding is absolutely fundamental and crucial to all language learning and those even those little pictures gave a help to that understanding. So visual support is superb. And did you notice that I knew exactly the language I wanted the children to use, right down to the word itself, and certainly the sentence. The sentence was, my shape monster has got a something uh, shape. Uh, and it wasn't a circle, uh, it wasn't a circle or a rectangle, it was circular, rectangular, a rectangular body, a hexagonal body. It was the adjective, uh, adjective I needed, that one level up. So know exactly what you want the children to learn is very helpful. And finally, well the two most important things, don't forget them, interaction and repetition. Well, that's all I want to say about the Shape Monsters game. There are lots of other Line of Four games on Racing to English and they're pretty easy to make yourself. So why don't you go and make some for your students and um, have some fun yourself?